Hello and welcome to the news from Bahrain International. I'm Sarah Lebrik. On behalf of His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa, His Highness Sheikh Mohammed bin Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa opened the 48th Bahrain Annual Fine Arts Exhibition last night at the Bahrain National Theatre. On this occasion, His Highness Sheikh Mohammed bin Salman expressed his appreciation for the honor of opening the exhibition and his pride in the creative contributions made by the exhibition's Bahraini and resident artists as one team Bahrain. His Highness Sheikh Mohammed bin Salman noted that the annual exhibition has provided a long standing platform for showcasing the most prominent figures of the kingdom's fine art movement, its pioneers and young talents. His Highness Sheikh Mohammed bin Salman then toured the exhibition and was briefed on its galleries of over 100 works of art by 60 Bahrainian resident artists. The art pieces reflect different schools, artistic trends and art forms, including painting, video, artwork, photography and sculpture. For her part, Sheikh Amey bin Mohammed Al Khalifa extended her gratitude to His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister for sponsoring the 48th edition of the Bahrain Annual Fine Arts Exhibition, noting that His Royal Highness's support for cultural exhibitions enhances Bahrain's progress across the arts and culture sector regionally and globally. Sheikh Amey further expressed her gratitude to His Highness Sheikh Mohammed bin Salman for inaugurating the exhibition on behalf of His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister. Sheikh Amey noted that the opening of the Bahrain Annual Fine Arts Exhibition this year confirms the recovery of the economy and the cultural economy in the kingdom and the return of life to normal post-pandemic. Sheikh Amey further noted that the exhibition enhances the kingdom's fine art movement, providing a rich, supportive environment for the kingdom's creative industry. During the exhibition, the winners of the three annual awards were as follows. The first place, Al Dan Award, was won by Jafar Al Arabi. Second place was won by Maryam Al Naimi. And Nof Al Rafai came in third place. The Bahrain Annual Fine Arts Exhibition is one of the largest and most prominent annual artistic gatherings held in the Kingdom of Bahrain. Over the years, it has attracted the most important artists in the kingdom, including young artistic talents. A number of senior officials also attended the opening. The Kingdom of Bahrain has strongly condemned the recent terrorist bombings in the Islamic Republic of Afghanistan, which targeted a school and an educational center in Kabul, a mosque in Mazar-e Sharif, and another in Kunduz City, killing and wounding dozens. In a statement, the Ministry of Foreign Affairs strongly denounced such criminal acts which aim to undermine security and stability. The Ministry of Foreign Affairs also renewed its call for the necessity of concerted international efforts to combat violence, extremism, and terrorism in all their forms. Bahrain Institute of Public Administration, the BIPA, won for the fourth time in a row the Excellence Award in Communication with Customers within the National System for Suggestions and Complaints, Tawasl. The victory reflects BIPA's keenness to continue working on the government's uh, futuristic approach led by His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister, His Royal Highness Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa. The government approach aims at developing its services provided to citizens, a primary priority by increasing their speed, quality and efficiency in addition to making them innovative and keep pace with the requirements of of the current stage reflecting the aspirations of the future stage. The government also aims at raising the efficiency of the international performance to achieve sustainability in various sectors and raise the competitiveness of the national economy. 
The Ministry of Industry, Commerce and Tourism approved resolution number 39 of the year 2022 regarding prohibiting the manufacture, import or circulation of magnetic beadball product. The decision which entered into force on the 14th of April stipulates a ban on the manufacture, circulation and import of these products due to their high risk and the punishment of anyone who violates the provisions of this decision with the penalties stipulated in the standards and meteorology law. The decision aims at enhancing the protection of children's safety from the severe harms resulting from the use of these products or types of products in light of the increase in the number of cases of ingestion of magnetic beads balls by children which may require surgical intervention to save their lives. The ministry confirmed that it is still working intensively to take the necessary measures to preserve the safety of children calling for the need for parents to pay attention to the behavior of their children and to get rid of magnetic beads balls products at home. In international news, at least 14 million worshippers have attended prayers at the Prophet's Mosque in Medina since the beginning of the Holy Month of Ramadan. The organizing authority said they worked with auxiliary agencies in addition to in-house staff to enhance the operational capacity of the mosque during the high influx month. The team worked 24 hours a day and double efforts to host the millions of visitors who flocked to the place of worship. Meanwhile, as Saudi Arabia ramped up safety measures in light of this visitor influx, the country's Ministry of Health, our Minister of Health, Fahad Al Jalajal, informed or confirmed that there were no epidemic outbreak diseases or events threatening public health. Tihad Airways said a surge in premium seat sales is being overwhelmingly led by a huge pent-up demand for long-haul holidays and journeys to see friends and family following two years of coronavirus curbs. Around 90% of business class bookings with the Gulf carrier are coming from people making leisure trips up from about 45% before the pandemic struck. Chief Executive Officer Tony Douglas referred to the phenomenon as a revenge tourism. The easing of COVID-19 restrictions has been accompanied by sales increases of 800% in 72 hours in some markets according to the CEO, who said that 12 of Tihad's routes are currently operating full. 33 people were killed and 43 injured in a bomb attack on a mosque during Friday prayers in the northern Afghan city of Kunduz. The injured included students of a religious school. It was not clear who was behind the explosion. The IS affiliates in Afghanistan claimed responsibility for several blasts in Kabul and the northern cities of Kunduz and Mazari Sharif. One of them went off at a mosque and another days earlier at a school in western Kabul.